Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. This is Jake with Camera Pro, and today we've got a first look at the brand new full frame camera from Nikon, the Z8. They've loaned it to us for a couple of days so we could have a test and see what we like about the camera and to let you guys know what's coming. So if you've used or are already familiar with the flagship Nikon Z9, you'll be really happy to see that they've pretty much put all of the features of that into this little body. The camera features the same 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor as the Z9, but packed in a lot smaller of a body. Being in the same family as the Z9, you also get access to the fastest processor that Nikon has to offer, the Xspeed 7. The Xspeed 7 is fast, not only allowing for high FPS in both photo and video modes, but due to the world's fastest scanning speed, they've been able to completely eliminate the mechanical shutter and minimize rolling shutter, allowing you to have a blackout free experience, making sure that you don't miss a shot. With the EVF featuring 120 frames per second refresh rate, it's a really nice screen to look at, and you really gotta enjoy it shooting your high frame rate scenarios. The first thing that I really like about the camera is the size of it. It's definitely familiar. If you use something like a Nikon DSLR, it's a little bit smaller than that, but definitely bigger than something like a Z6 or Z7, while still being smaller than the Z9 as well. If you are someone that likes to have an even bigger grip again though, you do have the optional battery grip that'll bring it closer to the size of a Z9, but you still have the flexibility to be able to make it a small unit when you need to. If you've ever used a Nikon before, the controls on the camera feel very familiar. Everything's just where it's supposed to be. One of my favorite features on the system is the four axis horizontal and vertical tilting screen. This is great because you're able to squeeze into spots that you might not have been able to before or get shots over a crowd if you're an event photographer. The in-body stabilization of the camera is great as well, or as Nikon likes to call it, vibration reduction or VR. I shot a lot of handheld with this over the last couple of days, and it was just so easy to bring it into spots that I wouldn't be able to if I had to have a gimbal. If you're into high-speed photography, there's not many cameras that are going to be able to offer what the Z8 does. It can shoot 20 frames per second in both RAW and JPEG. If you drop RAW and just shoot JPEG, you can get up to 30 frames per second. And if you go into a 26 megapixel crop, you'll get 60 frames per second. Finally, you'll get 120 frames per second if you go into an 11 megapixel crop. While the 11 megapixel crop isn't as high resolution as the 45 megapixel sensor, if you're shooting something like wildlife where you may have to crop anyway, and you just want to make sure that you're able to get the shot, it's a great option to have. The Z8 is full of a bunch of great little considerations, even down to the card slots, with the first slot being either a CF Express Type B or XQD type card, and the second slot being a UHS-2 SD card, meaning no matter what cards you've got, you're always going to be able to shoot. With that being said, when you're shooting a higher frame rate, you're going to want to use a CF Express Type B card. The Z8's speedy autofocus algorithm is great for tracking and can independently track nine different types of subjects. People with eye, face, head and upper body tracking, dogs, cats, birds, cars, motorcycles, bikes, trains and even planes. As well as this, the low light performance of the autofocus is greatly improved, allowing you to shoot in dimly lit scenarios such as events or at sunsets as well. With this high resolution sensor, you're gonna get a lot of great video features as well. To start with, you've got up to 8K 60p RAW, which just looks fantastic. As well as this, you've got 4K UHD, 1080p, that are all downscaled from 8K. This means that even if you aren't shooting in 8K, you're still gonna get a really nice, sharp image out of the camera. If you need high frame rates for video, the camera's got you covered there as well. In 4K, you can get up to 120 frames per second. If you're looking for a quick turnaround, you can shoot built-in color into an 8-bit, 10-bit file, but if you need a bit more flexibility, you have N-Log. Not only this, you can shoot up to 8K 60p in N-RAW as well, meaning that the camera's flexible for no matter what kind of production you're on. One feature that I love being mainly a video shooter is that the camera has a full HDMI, which most mirrorless cameras miss out on. To start with, it's a lot more secure than something like a micro or mini HDMI, and you're gonna get a lot faster data speeds through it as well. So recording externally stuff like RAW is gonna be no problem. Thanks for joining us today on our first look of the Nikon Z8. It's been great to have this camera for the last couple of days and we'd like to thank Nikon for allowing us to have the chance to shoot with it. Being chock full of all the features from the Z9 and being in a much smaller body, I find that this camera is super versatile. So if you're a photographer or videographer that just wants something that's gonna be able to keep up with you no matter what you're doing, I think this is a really good option. If you'd like to get in contact with us about this camera, please call us on 1300 431 431 or get in contact with us on our website that we'll leave in the link below. We'd love to hear your thoughts about the camera and if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to help you out. 
be sure to stay subscribed and follow our socials to know what we're up to next. We hope to see you on our next video.